What's up YouTube, Million Dollar Dream here, back with another Million Dollar Video, back with another um, unpackaging, slight unboxing, which is not really because I had a jacket for a long time, but is a slight overview of this product, of this off-white product that I got from um, eBay, which is the eBay seller I got from the RSVP gallery, and yeah, let's get into it, this is a um, blue windbreaker from their old um, collection, their old packaging, tags of the RSVP gallery as it said down there you go focusing XXL I like my jackets to fit bigger because I like the way it fits but um yeah let's get into it here's a receipt that it came with as well so y'all no we don't have fix up over here guys we'll do it fuck you me see if I can get that receipt to focus just like that um, I guess the guy got two things, but the jacket's like, I'm not really going to disclose the price if you guys didn't see, but if you guys want to, um, you guys should know how much this stuff is, this stuff is crazy, and I'm not some snobby kid that gets everything he wants, I work for everything I have, I work hard as hell, but um, anyway, alright, so let's go over the jacket, so I got a baby blue, um, off-white windbreaker jacket as seen on um, Kim Kardashian, freaking Chris Brown, freaking fracking Courtney Jenner crashing, all of them are freakers. You know what I'm talking about. All of them. You see it in all of them. They all wear it by Virgil Abloh. Pretty sweet. It's sweet. I like it. It's cool. But to be honest, the quality is not that good. And that is so disappointing. How are you going to. Virgil, how are you going to charge me? How are you going to charge us? Lamborghini prices, but have Honda Accord quality. It don't make any sense. I don't get it, but <laughs> it crap is stupid. But you know what? It's hype, and we go. It's nice. It, the design is nice, but the quality is just sadly not that good. But anyways, to go over it, they fake these a lot on eBay. You see fakes all the time, but um, it is made out of a uh, some sort of weird like. Kind of netting material. I believe the, the other camo jacket I have over here. If you guys didn't check out the review for that, you guys can watch that. But the velvet camo jacket, it's um made. Out, it's it's not the same material, but it also has the same like square patterns on it, and that's the same. And the way to tell that if you guys have a fake windbreaker is that if the windbreaker um windbreaker uh, material of the uh, the the white or the the stripes, if it's a different kind of material as the jacket itself, it is fake. Because it's supposed to have the same, um, the same um, material. It's not supposed to be different, like a kind of um, screen print leather or something like that. It's like on like Hood by Air or Ventro products I've seen over there. But that's how you can tell yourself it's fake. Also, these are old from older collections, so the tag at the bottom should be black and clear, like this, with a red tag. And I know on that jacket it was white on white because that's from the 2016. 2015 spring summer collection I forgot but um yeah this one old man this is like back in like I think 2000 or late 2014 I think I kind of forgot but the jackets are too expensive for the quality that they give out on this so I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a whole nother showcase for you guys to see that's on um, off-white and my thoughts if it's really worth paying that price to be honest personally I don't think it's worth it but I'm gonna get in that later so I got the double XL fit because it's like a it's kind of like a poncho sort of it's just like a big jacket and I want it to be extra big. It's funny because the night before that I saw it on Chris Brown who was performing um, for the Soul Train Awards. He was wearing the black and white one. To me it looks sick. And ironically I was going on a field trip I think that's like a couple days before that. And I woke up that morning and then I saw it on eBay. And it was for like the low. Like the low low. Like the low low. It's like not. But it was, it was on eBay for the low. And um... I saw it there and I had to I had to snag on it, I had to buy it, but 220 I think I paid for it. You can't go wrong with that brand new. But anyways. Here's the tag in the inside. Oh, this motherfucker. But yeah, a fake one would have a stitch after the O. So the O would be like right here in the stitch or the stitch would be back here after the O or on top of the O. 
It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be a clean cut off white like that. And it shouldn't be in any other font. It should be just like this. Because if the stitch right here is on the O or on the F, it should not. It's supposed to be at the very end of uh, the tag. And um, also as well, um, what else? Um, I've also noticed on the face that they have on eBay. I'm showing you guys the minor things because this is something you guys need to watch out for. You see how on the ropes, on this, Alright, you see how it has like two little dashes right here? As it has as for each one, each of the white marks, it has two little dashes on each one. Now the authentic ones are supposed to have two. Anything that has three, I don't know, I don't want to say that this is a method that works 100 percent but the ones I've seen, the fake ones would have three, and the real ones would have two. And those are the same ones that would have the messed up tags right here. So that stuff is not real. Like I said, the screen print is supposed to be the same um material as the um as the garment yeah the screen print is going to feel different but it's supposed to have the same white um not white but the same squares as you can see it's all around the uh the jacket and it's a really thin jacket so if you like to rough house a lot then you could probably like pinch a hole in it because this is not this jacket probably worth like what 20 bucks to make it's not worth the heavy price tag that they put on this and I'm sorry but we're going to need to assess your quality dude because this is this is shitty man it's crappy like it's a dope jacket but it's a shitty material like my shit I, I wear this all the time I wear it all the time and it's already cracking the freaking back look at this fam look at this already cracking right there unfortunately slightly very small but you can see part of it's coming off so I, I'll find a way to be repaint that but it just sucks and it's like dude like this jacket is so dope if you just put good quality on it then <laughs> I would buy so much more like here's the back it says white 13 the front the pockets are um are nice you know they're pretty deep deep pockets I'm gonna throw this on so you guys can see what it looks like on body as well the pockets are deep the hood is pretty big I'll also, you guys will also see what that looks like when I put it on um yeah that's the hood so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the bag came in, the receipt. I showed you guys basically, basically everything. It's, a, it's really a, a spring summer jacket. I would say this is a jacket that I would wear in summer nights, spring nights. And if you you could wear this in winter, but I would like super I would, like layer it like to the max, wear like a hoodie underneath and like a sweatshirt, not a sweatshirt, but, like a nice like like thermal knit, and then wear like a hoodie on top of that. And with this, I would layer it to the most. But um. Yeah, it, it's, it's nice. It looks nice, but just the quality is not the best. And it really sucks because Hood Buyer gives like, that's what I'm wearing right now. Ugh! Hood Buyer gives, good, gives really good quality out for their stuff. Really good screen print. If they were to put this kind of screen print that Hood Buyer does onto their jacket, then it'll be 100% better. And I really wish they did that. But, you know, we can start a petition on Twitter and tell Virgil, look, motherfucker, if you don't put better quality, I'm going to beat your ass. So no, we're not gonna do that. I love you, brother. You make dope shit. But I just wish you could put better quality on it. But you know, that's something that, that they'll hope to afford to in the future. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on body. Oh, and if you guys have a question what I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing Rain and Storm flannel, 10D pad with a Go Gods necklace. It's like 80 bucks at Zoomies. You can find it for a low. And um, flannel's probably like 30 bucks. It's long gone though. That's like 50, but it was it's long gone it's from Rain and Storm. They don't seem to sell that shit anymore. Hood by ear, hoodie. That you can probably find on Barney's if they still have it. If you get lucky, you can see it. But that's pretty much it. So now I'm throwing on. So, uh, so. At a yellow light, a yellow light, yo. Oh. Right when I think that we found it. Well, that's when we start turning around. You're saying, baby, don't worry. But we're still going the wrong way. Baby, you know how to drive. You decided not to make a change Stuck in the same old lane Going the wrong way home I feel like my heart is stuck in bumper to bumper traffic I'm under pressure cause I can't have you the way that I want Can we go back to where you were? Honeymoon 
me new Ever new My baby Coasting like crazy Can we go back to the way it was Oh, they say Only fools fall in love They must have been talking about us And sometimes I feel all right, so if you guys found the content, you can go ahead and show me by liking and commenting below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think on the jacket. If you think off white, if you think this is a fire jacket, or if you think off white is a shitty brand, if this is a shitty jacket or crappy, let me know. Commenting and liking below. Um, and also, if you guys found the Million Dollar Dream, you can go and subscribe. I post weekly. Um, I'm gonna start posting more music stuff once when I get my studio equipment ready, and I'm gonna start posting pranks and stuff. But anyways, so far this is just about clothing. And if you guys are feeling it, you can go ahead. Comment and like below. Tell me what you think. Bad, good, positive, negative. I don't care. Let me know. You can all talk about it below. If you guys are feeling the million dollar dream, you guys subscribe at million dollar dream down below or down inside the video. You guys know. But anyways, I'm rapping. I'm rhyming. Peace out. Much love. Spread love. Positivity. Peace. See you guys in the next video. <laughs> oh yeah, and also if anyone's asking, the earrings are from Claire's. I got them for like five, ten bucks. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All the way, I believe in me. Just believe in you. Let me do me. You like it? Cool. You don't? Fast forward.